And we're back. We uh, randomly got Bethany Jones in a time pod, and uh, she's done work. So let's go to the final island. Because uh, we did a three island victory last time. It was pretty long. Let's like not do more. <laughs> Um, the next squad that I need to unlock actually has an achievement that requires a Four Island playthrough, so that's where my Four Island playthrough is going to be. Um, I'm not sure how much I can really strategize with my positioning when um, I don't see all the power pylons yet and there's nobody that's going to web me. I'm sure somebody out there has written, like, a whole book on the strategy of positioning your starting positions in the final island, but, uh, I haven't read it. Alright. Let's see. This just turns to lava. It doesn't kill us. I think. Oh, wait, actually... You're the one that can move anyway. So that seems like a really good play. That also seems pretty good. And then you die to the Vex spawning. And you will uh, move over to the side here, I guess? Because we don't really want you in the action. And you fly, so you can just do things from the water. So yeah, our free movement prevented us from catching on fire. Hey, level up. Can just kill him with the this. Cause we got that plus one damage. Alright. Let's see what you got plus one mech move, nice. If I freeze you, you die, right? No, you can't freeze him while he's over lava. I thought it would work like being over water where a flying enemy would drop straight down and die. I was hoping to kill him that way, and then move this onto one of the spawns, so I wouldn't have four enemies to deal with. Hmm. So you're gonna cost my shield here. I don't like that. But I might accept it anyway, for the sake of saving power. Let's see, if I push you, you're gonna charge into the water. Am I gonna actually intentionally set two of my mechs on fire for the sake of saving the grid? I think that's actually the conclusion. Because I believe freezing this guy, he still does his thing anyway. Because it's a passive. He's actually, I can stand here and take my shot. Although next turn's the last turn anyway, I might prefer more central position. Oh, wait a minute. If I move forward to do this, you're not gonna charge into the water. You're gonna charge into my guy, killing him. Um, alternative plays. Shoot this guy. Freeze this guy. Flip this guy. Okay, we'll have two enemies to deal with, not counting the Scion.
Lost power to shield. That's fine, though, because it's the final turn, and we get another shield once the next phase starts. Man, that rock that was placed by that earlier enemy was really convenient. <laughs> Alright. Okay, so you're doing a relevant thing. You're irrelevant, because you're gonna die to the volcano. So I could just freeze this. I think I will. I think I'll move you back. Get a pointless double kill here. That'll show them. <laughs> Pointless repair here. Next systems were difficult to figure out, but it's fixed. Alright, Bethany Jones got an experience point. Gonna make all the difference. Oh, <laughs> I like that the one tile that I had a mech on on the outer ring actually fell. Bethany refreshed her shield while falling through the air, also unfroze herself. Also, all our mechs got mysteriously repaired. Hive size a little larger than expected. Boom! <laughs> we get EXP for that. I wonder, do you start with more enemies here if more enemies survived phase one? I would guess not. Can I make it all the way there to flip that guy? Yes. This guy actually has unlimited move, otherwise known as six. Oh, you're hitting the bomb for one. I could move in here in Janus Cannon to take a grid damage instead of a bomb damage. I'm probably freezing this guy, though. And then just shooting this guy. Alternative plays. Move the wrong person. Shoot this guy from here. Except one grid damage here. Freeze that guy still. Seems fine. Oh! You're a leader, not an alpha. So you actually won't die in the fire. I think I have a better play knowing that. Oh, but you attack after this guy, even though... I think alphas would get initiative. So I'm thinking flip this guy, freeze this guy. Still take this shot. We take... One grid damage still? But we leave this guy alive with one. If only you had one more move in the mirror mech, then I could have blocked this spawn- Oh! Right. <laughs> the fact that I have one more move after I shoot. So we have three enemies to deal with, two of which have one health. Oh wait, I miscounted spawn points. Four enemies to deal with. Two of them are just targeting my ice mech. Like, understandable. Oh, you can move through the bomb. I was trying to figure out how they were getting all the way over there. So, freeze you, kill you... Hmm. Nah. I was thinking of freezing from here, but I still lose the shield. Because I'm thinking of doing this. Shoot this way, get a double kill. Alternative plays. Kill you, freeze you, so I can take more favorable positions. Still do this. We don't even take any damage for it. Alright. I 
think the enemy doesn't actually spawn here because the space is getting destroyed. Yeah, that's right. Okay, now we have three enemies to deal with, one of which has one HP. Alright, so you just run all the way over here. I don't need to care about your positioning at all. It's fine to use Bethany's shield. And, um, I forgot that the Janus Cannon shoots two ways. I do have another reset. Alternatively, just tank the damage, block a spawn. Have two enemies to deal with on the last turn. Yeah, this is fine. Because we can freeze one and probably hit the other with our shield here. Yeah, I could have moved all the way here. We've got six movement. Alright. So we don't actually have to do anything. All of our pilots survive. But, uh, what's the fun in that? Bethany Jones is pretty good at video games. <laughs> Still, it hasn't changed since the previous episode segment. Yeah, I feel like just due to her synergy with this squad in particular, she might be the strongest pilot in the game? I don't know, the one that prevents you from getting webbed is also pretty widely useful. I guess a lot of them are pretty widely useful. I think Ralph is clearly the worst, at least as far as a time traveler from the previous run. Because by the time he's your time traveler, he's probably max level. And so his passive doesn't even do anything anymore. Alright, the Vec Hive has been destroyed. Civilian lives protected about a hundred fewer than it could have been for the sake of an achievement. I know I said that like 208 died for the achievement, but at the same time I think I could have only protected one of them. Or rather, one building. Anyway. Oh yeah. Let's see, we just took you into the timeline. Extra reset is kind of okay. <laughs> I mean, I probably played a bit more loose than I would have because I had it. Thing is, if you're playing well, it's like a nothing passive. Um, of course, the thing is... His level up bonuses are plus one reactor, plus one move. I kinda really like that combo. I, th I think I'll take him for another run. Let's see, did we get enough coins? We do have enough coins. We can get the hazardous mechs. These mechs have spectacular damage output, but rely on nanobots feeding off dead Vec to stay alive. Let's see, so um, the gimmick here is that all of them deal damage to themselves. So this is a leap, damaging self and adjacent tiles. This, um, fires a powerful projectile that causes damage to the shooter as well as the target, and also pushes the shooter back. It's interesting that the brute mech is the one that natively deals two damage, and the leap mech only deals one damage. Normally, if there's a two damage and a one damage, it's the prime mech. Anyway, I guess the nano mech doesn't have a way to damage itself, it just shoots acid. And flies. It is the last of the flying units. But, uh, they've got this to keep them going. Mechs heal damage when they deal a killing blow. I believe if you die to your own attack, the repair actually saves you from death. Um, but, uh, yeah. There's still a secret squad that it now tells us about, now that I've unlocked the eight main squads. Um, it requires every coin in the game. Uh, so of course there were plenty of spare coins on the way to actually getting these unlocked. I think 
once you unlock one squad, there's technically enough available to you to get all of the eight main squads. If you get like every global achievement as well. Uh, except I think there's a, an achievement for beating it with like three different squads, so maybe that makes you just a little short. But uh, yeah, unlocking the eight main squads, you have a lot of choices. Anyway, yeah, next time we'll play as the Hatters or just mechs, and then I might... Well, may, I'll probably show a random squad and a custom squad as well. And then after that, I think I'm gonna off-camera all the achievements that I don't rule as, like, super interesting. Like, I think Blitzkrieg, their remaining achievement is, like, super interesting. Trying to win within... or win two islands in half an hour. I'm gonna need a lot of practice, there'll probably be a lot of failed runs, but I might only show the winning run. I don't know. Maybe if I got opinions, I would show more, if it was requested. Quantum Entanglement, I don't think will be interesting to show. Glittering Sea Beam, I would probably just show the battle it actually happens. Same with Shield Mastery. Um, unbreakable. Half Mech Armor absorb 5 damage in a single battle. That's another one that I would probably just show the single battle. Another single battle achievement. Fat event, yeah. A lot of these achievements, I would probably just show the battle they happen in. But let's see. Yeah, hazardous mechs. Well, we definitely show one full run as them still. Um, I mentioned this immortal achievement earlier. Finish four islands without a mech being destroyed at the end of a battle. Uh, with all the self damage, you can imagine that is uh, fairly difficult. Overkill. Deal 8 damage to a unit with a single attack. I'll probably get that. You just gotta put acid on something and then hit it for 4. And I bet the, uh... Tank. Whatever it was called. Unstable mech. Probably has enough upgrades to this to get to 4 damage. Um, and of course, on your way to 8... Er, not 8 islands. 4 islands. You're likely to get the... Reactors to do all those upgrades. Humanity's Savior. I'm actually pretty close to that. Um, but yeah, that would definitely just happen off camera. It's just the achievement that it gives you for playing and winning it enough. Beat the game on a hard. That would be worth showing. Adaptable victory. Hopefully, I'll get it alongside Immortal. It. The way next episode's gonna work is if I do two islands without a pilot dying. I'm gonna actually be done for that week. I'll do two more islands in the final island in the next episode. Or, the, like, the next... T two weeks from when I show the first half of the run. I'm, I actually am gonna split any run that I decide to do four islands. Let's see. Beat with all ten primary squads any length, so that'll be shown. Untouchable. Finish a corporate island without taking mech damage. Repaired damage is still damage. That might be worth showing. I'm definitely not going to get it with, as the hazardous mechs. Turns out not being allowed to attack is a pretty serious restriction. <laughs> I guess technically you could get it on islands besides the first. If you uh, buy other weapons or find them in time pods. Let's see, challenge runs. Three corporate islands without powering weapon mod modification. That's probably pretty difficult. Because that's like no upgrades on your weapons. Three corporate islands and destroy every time pod discovered? I'd probably just do that on my own. I mean, you miss out on probably three reactors. I don't know, maybe it'll be difficult to actually get the time pods destroyed. Trusted equipment. Three corporate islands without equipping any new pilots or weapons. That doesn't seem that bad to me. Because you can still power up your weapon modifications, so you're just basically playing as your vanilla squad with just your time travel for special pilots. I don't know. I might not even show that one. But, uh, yeah. Uh, next part, hazardous mechs. See ya!